Who's here with writing? Who's 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 here for the writing? We talked about this one right here. This has three major sections. What are the three major sections on this test? The writing test is a little different. What are the the three major ones? If you had to break this up, we have which is going to take you two hours to do. Which is going to take you two hours? I'm going to put down the multiple choice. The multiple choice of those 35 questions is going to take two hours to do. This short answer where you correct, where you have these seven short answers, how long, did, how long are you going to work on that? Short answers, you're going to spend how long? 30 minutes. 30 minutes, hopefully, on the short answer. So you got two hours here on the multiple choice, 30 minutes on the short answer. And then these ones right here, collectively the essays, I'm hoping 90 minutes. Who feels like they can do it faster than 90? Who sometimes do, does these essays in less than 90 minutes? Who feels like that's you need more time? Who feels like that's something I, I need more time? Okay, so let's talk here. There's three groups of teachers here. There's some teachers that say, I don't need more time. I can do it in an hour. There's some teachers that say 90 minutes is fine. And there's some teachers that say they need more time. I think if you're doing it less than an hour, you're, you're really, uh, you, you might be a wonderful writer. <laughs> or you might be leaving some stuff off the table. Okay, maybe you didn't spell check. Maybe you could do a better job. Uh, but, but I would say 90 minutes, that would break it down into 30 minutes on this one. 60 minutes on that one. That's pretty tight. I mean, this one right here, the composition essay is 600 words. I mean, that's your target. And this one right here is 150 words. So, so there's a lot of writing going on, and they're really going to be spe checking your spelling and your organization. So this alone, this 600 words alone, should at least take an hour. Who, who agrees with me that this could easily take 60 minutes? So... If you needed more time, if you needed more time, and you could, maybe, uh, maybe you could do the short answers a little faster, right? Maybe you don't need 30 minutes. Maybe you only need 20 minutes. That would be about, that'd be about three minutes per set, uh, sentence. Who feels like they could do each one of those sentences in three minutes? If you had three minutes. So if you look at it like that, and you give yourself three minutes, for each of the sentences, that, that will save you an extra 10. So I'm gonna put down here plus 10. And, and who, who does really good on the multiple choice? Who's like, you know what? I don't need two hours on this. I don't need. So if you could do the multiple choice, let's say you're doing the multiple choice and you do every passage, you do uh, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 passages, right? Then that means it's a 120 minutes versus uh, 12 minutes for each passage, which would be 120. So that means if you do 10 minutes per passage, that means how much time do you save? You save what? You save 20 minutes. So I'll add that here. Now look what you've done. We saved a little bit of time on the multiple choice and a little bit of time on the short answer, and you have an extra 30 minutes, an extra 30 minutes to write those amazing essays. I'm looking at Lauren's question real quick. So Lauren, you want it you, when in the short answer you want it you want to strive to get at least one correct. See one fix one mistake. And if you could get one mistake, I mean that's going to be something. That's going to bump this up to the twos as opposed to the ones. Does everyone see how we're saving some time and we can add it to our essays? Okay, I want to go to this last piece right here. I just want to re-emphasize this on the communication literacy writing exam. Uh, the multiple choice, which includes a combination of, of the multiple choice, the 35 questions, as well as the seven short answers, those seven, that adds up to 148 points. So those two combined are 148. This is 50% this is of your test. And those two essays, those two essays, if you were to get fours on those two essays, are 150 points. Who's taken, who's taken uh, the, uh, the general curriculum exams? Who's taken general, the general curriculum? Okay, general curriculum, the essay is 10% of your score or, or 30 points. 
who's taking foundations of reading, the reading exam, foundations of reading, 20%, you know, or 60 points. So, so this 150, this is a big deal team. Who's taking the SEI exam? Who's taking the SEI? SEI, the, I know this is a young group. I know this is a young group. The SEI, the Intel 56 exam. Anyone? No, who's, who's no, I have not taken it yet. Oh, so you really want to pass these exams because when you get to the harder ones, they get much, much harder. But even this one right here, that essay is only worth 40% of the test. So, so this is a big deal for it to be 50%. So they're really measuring your writing. This is, this is, this is something that you want to spend time in and get this one right. I'll circle the, the two fours are 150. The two threes are 128. Uh, the two twos are 106. And we, and we talked about this. If you turn your two into a three, how much does your score go up? You go from a two to a three, your score bumps up. 22 points. Or if you turn your two into a four, which is very hard to do, it goes up 44. Can you get partial credit? Are you able to get partial credit on the writing? Like, is there, is there a way to get? Yes, you are. So partial credit means that your, your summary might stay at a two, but your essay might jump up to a three. So I guess that would look like this one here. But that would still be, let's see, if you did that, let's look at this closely. Your summary stays at a two and only your, your persuasive goes up to a three. That means the score goes from 106 to 121. How much did you go up? From 106 to 121, how much did you go up? I'm gonna clear this off so we can see that. Everyone can see that. If, you, if your essay stays at a two and you turn your persuasive from a two to a three, it goes up how much? 15 points. Does everyone see that? I that is that is so 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 important. If you can turn your persuasives go up from a, a three to a two, get that fifteen. Wow, that for half the group that's a game changer. Okay, so it's worth taking the extra thirty minutes on the persuasive essay. Give me a thumbs up if you hear what I'm saying. If you can take time away from some of the other things and put a little bit more energy into that essay, even 15 minutes more, get that to the three, get the extra 15 points, whew, that's a big deal. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. If you like this video, press the like button below or subscribe to our channel. This allows us to do more videos for teachers on their teacher certification exams. And if you need additional help, you can come and check out a Go Academy workshop or webinar or tutoring. You go to www.goacademy.com. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.